There you all praise the Lord. We are on our way. Uh, we're heading out to Roanoke uh, today to meet up with Adam Sandoval and the Great American Convoy. Anytime the sun is out. Like we share our travel. Life outreach. 4716 Harrison Road. The Word of God says in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 13, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. So today is supposed to be a really nice day in the uh, low to mid-90s, not too humid. It's beautiful out right now, and... Uh, I'm enjoying this already. Uh, it's going to be about a three-hour ride, maybe a little more, but uh it's going to be a mixture of back roads here and some uh, a lot more interstate, though, and uh, not my favorite thing to, to ride on on the bike, but when you have to crunch miles, it's uh, just one of those things that you got to do is uh, be out on the uh, interstate. But anyways, hang tight because we're going to be there. All right, we're... Jumping on 64 here, heading west, out towards uh, 81, out past uh, Charlottesville and uh, Stanton area. And uh, this is where it really gets to be... Uh, yeah, hopefully you get to see the mountains over there uh, to my right. It's absolutely gorgeous out here, and uh, it's, uh, you know, if you get a chance to ride out this way, uh, do it. I mean, in the bike, or I mean, on the bike or in the car, it doesn't matter. Just get out here and uh, ride. It's uh, just an amazing, amazing uh, spot to ride at. Again, I don't know if the camera is really picking it up or not, but you can see out there to the left of me, you know, the the mountain ridges or mountain skyline, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, such a nice ride out, out this way. It's so beautiful. You know, it's amazing how God has given us this uh, to enjoy like this. Okay, we're finally off the interstate, uh, off an 81, and, uh, yeah, okay, I got it. Not my greatest U-turn ever, but I still managed to make it. But we are uh, just up the street. It's amazing how you have to go, to go past the Harley dealer to make a U-turn like that to uh, come back up. Uh, I wish uh, they would have made a crossover right there. But uh, let's get up in here. All right. It's pretty cool going up the hill like that. Oh, that was a bump. I wish I saw that. Yeah, we got a few bites. All right, let's park it. Okay, so 
We're finally parked and uh, see a gentleman working on his Sportster. But uh, there are several bikes out here, not all Harley Davidsons. Uh, we got uh, an Indian and and stuff. Love uh, seeing all these bikes. Got a Tri Glide and over there in that shark skin blue. Matter of fact, let's look at it. There we go. And here is the 2024 Street Glide and the uh, 2024 uh, Road Glide. These are the blacked out models. And man, they are sharp. So here we are walking around the dealership, and every hard oh look at the puppy! Every Harley dealership they have plenty of T-shirts and uh, merchandise. And Sweetness loves bling, but not too many uh, dealerships are stocking the bling anymore. It seems like, but uh, everything that you could want from Harley shirts to the dealer T-shirts, and uh, you know I just got a new one from Central Maine Harley. I may end up getting an another one from here. Uh, who knows? But everything that you could want for for T-shirts, there's no shortage of that, and. Uh, Oh, sleeveless or uh, sleeveless? <laughs> That's a big thing in the Harley culture is sleeveless shirts. <laughs> oh, too much. They call them muscle shirts. But, uh, yeah, look at that. That's kind of neat. I like that one there. But uh, this red, red and black looks good together. <laughs> Another sleeveless shirt. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. And always, oh, plenty of gloves. If you're always, you know, I'm always looking for gloves uh, for some waterproof ones now. But let's take a look at some bikes. Here we go. 2024 Street Glide. And as you can see the, uh, the light there up on the fairing, I just love the way that looks. I don't know if I would get the Street Glide or a Road Glide, but, uh, you know, I just like them. And here's the red, a green, and a blue, and just, to keep them in simple terms, red, green, and blue. Uh, but I don't know if I want more of a performance bike, I'd probably go with the Road Glide. And for those adventurous ones, there's the Pan American CVO. Full sport, if you will. I mean, it's kind of neat. I give Harley credit for trying to get into another market. And this here is what Sweetness wants. Not necessarily for the two of us, but she's interested in possibly getting a license, but she wants a trike. And oh my goodness. I mean, it's still 40 grand, but that thing is nice and, and it's comfortable, I'm sure. A lot more stable than what uh, two wheels are. Goodness gracious, look at that. The CVO. That's their 25th anniversary coloring. Uh, and it is a war. Uh, and it's like 50 grand. Oh my goodness. Shoo wee. Yeah. Harley, uh, make some bikes for your everyday 
average Joe, but they also got that high end market too. Another Pan American and another trike, beautiful. Oh goodness, look at these Road Glide Ultras. Man, that's almost identical color to our Sorrento. That kind of would have been cool to uh, to have this color on the bike, especially when we went to Maine and it was being trailered. <laughs> they would have matched. Oh, that's funny. I would not turn this down. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how I how I really feel, uh, and it's not a bad price. Um, but I, I'm I'm not sure how I feel about a you know frame mounted fairing. Uh, I'm sure I'd get used to it. They claim that they're they're really nice. And here's where every Harley dealership, you know, between demo seats and you know just accessories and chrome lots. And lots of chrome. Uh, and now they're getting into blacking stuff out too, so, but you can get everything that you want. Oh, wow. This is Adam's bike, and now I can say, hey, I've seen a Dave Perowitz paint job. Um, if you don't know who he is, I'll uh, try to leave a link down in the description, but this paint on uh, Adam's road glide is incredible and it's just something simple just flames but all the other stuff that he has on it uh the two into one exhaust and adam sandoval bars and riser look at that he even has a cup holder i need to get a cup holder there's just no getting around that riding would be much uh easier uh, being able to have something to drink while you're out on the bike, staying hydrated. But, I mean, goodness, look at this. This is gorgeous. The uh, carbon fiber lids and all. Okay, you all. I've left the dealership, and sad to say that uh, I had audio issues, and uh, I had a video with Adam, but it, and him speaking about what he was doing, and um, unfortunately, there was no audio. But uh, today, uh, they raised $11,342 uh, towards their goal of $200,000 uh, for the Wounded Warrior Project. So it was awesome to be a part of it, but now it's time to start heading east back home. Man, it's just truck after truck after truck. And it's hard on these two-lane highways because they have to use the left lane to pass. And then if they can't get the pass done before the next hill, it just slows everybody up. But praise God, you know, we're going to just try to be patient and, uh, and get through this. Yes, I wish it would go faster, though. All right, Richmond at 64, at least the exit for 64 to head towards Richmond, one mile. Woohoo! That means we're getting close to home.
right, so we're on our final leg to get back uh, home. I'm in uh, Louisa, and uh, should be coming up to Lake Anna here in just a, a few turns or so. And uh, it's always nice to see Lake Anna because uh, crosses back over uh, into Spotsy, and uh, that's what I'm always looking forward to. That's kind of like, okay, I'm home, and uh, yeah, you should should be able to see it. The camera should be picking up, but uh, uh, there's a taco joint over here on the left that eventually I'm going to have to come out and try out. Uh, something about Taco Tuesday. You know, watch enough other uh, other YouTubers and they, you know, always do on Taco Tuesdays. But let's see if we can get you a little bit of a, a look at Lake Anna. And, uh, and one of the other big things is the lake seems to be much cooler. So when you ride across the water like this and across the bridge, uh, temperature does drop some. And uh, on these hot days, because it turned out hot, uh, this afternoon, but uh, it's always a uh, welcome to have the temperature drop down a little bit. Uh, but anyways, so so not to keep you all, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, it was a great ride out to Roanoke to see Adam again, because uh, I uh, rode with him last year on one of his stops. I didn't, didn't go to the next uh, spot with him this year. I do have to go to work tomorrow. But uh, uh, but it was good to see him again and uh, chat with him. It just stinks that uh, I didn't realize the audio was uh, out uh, when I recorded until it was too late. Then uh, they were already getting ready to, to head out. So no sense of uh, uh, putting that little uh, part of him in the video because uh, I can't lip sync or, or repeat what he said but he is doing a 34 day trip uh, across the United States uh, called the Great American Convoy and uh, if you're interested in it participating in to support the Wounded Warrior Project he said that you could go to adamsandoval.com and, uh, and help out uh, but anyways, praise God that we're home. I'm calling it home because I'm in Spotsy now. And uh, But if you would, uh, please, you know, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up. Uh, it helps out a whole lot. And, of course, make sure you hit that bell notification so that way you can uh, get notified every time we drop a video. And especially this year because... Uh, we're doing that 52-week uh, series this week in the Bible. They drop every Thursday. Uh, all I'm doing is just reading one chapter a week out of the Bible. No preaching, no, uh, no uh, expanding on or anything, but just solely reading and leaving it very raw and unedited. Uh, so if I make a mistake, you're hearing it, you're seeing it, and hopefully that will encourage some that are watching it that struggle with uh, reading and especially reading the Word and uh, that they can see, hey, I'm not the only one that uh, has that happen. And, uh, and uh, you know, hopefully they'll follow along and desire to dig in even more. But anyways, I took up enough time. Thank you again for watching. God bless you, and we love you, and we'll see you next time.